Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News. And to the North Bay, where the big concern is the Russian River. It's expected to crest tomorrow, but even now we're seeing flood issues there. ABC 7 News anchor Liz Kreutz has the story. Down trees, power outages, and flooding. That is what folks in Sonoma County are dealing with today. Here outside Santa Rosa, the driver of this minivan here, now being towed away, got submerged in flood waters. Rescue crews had to come and help him get out. This is the scene in Sonoma County after the latest round of storms overnight at Slusser and River Roads just outside Santa Rosa. This Mercedes and a minivan both submerged in floodwaters. Santa Rosa Fire District having to respond, helping to rescue one of the trapped drivers. Those are kind of nice cars and they're done. The road closure drenching the surrounding vineyards and forcing residents to find alternate ways home. I live on the other side of this water, so we're going to go around and take the high roads. It's a similar scene at nearby Steelhead Beach. This is usually the parking lot, now underwater by the rising Russian River. What we woke up to was just more of a mess. We've got trees down, we've got mudslides, we've got folks actually trapped in areas where we had major road failures. Sonoma County District 5 Supervisor Linda Hopkins says eyes continue to be on the Russian River, now expected to crest early Tuesday morning. Low-lying areas around the river are already feeling the impact. In Guerneville, John Cordes showed us his friend's home. The entire yard flooded. His only way out, this boat. He's currently getting from his stairs to the land by boat, and then he's probably getting in his car. So last night, the rain hammered here pretty bad, and by 2 in the morning, this was completely like this. Jennifer Patafield woke up to this flooding in the nearby Mill Court neighborhood. She says they're also going on day seven without power. No power since Wednesday. Sean Cruder came by in shorts and flip flops, hoping to get through the water to give his friend an external battery charger for his phone. He says it's frustrating, but it's Guerneville. They've gotten used to this. We're Guerneville's here. We're used to uh, no power and power outages and floods and stuff like that. So we're hanging pretty tough and there's a lot of support. Um, uh, we're riding through it. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. And back here outside Santa Rosa on Slusser Road, you can see just how much the water has receded since this morning. But as these floodwaters recede, it feeds into the Russian River, and that contributes to the river's rise. And, of course, all eyes on the Russian River, which could crest overnight. For folks who are dealing with power outages and flooding, the county has set up community resource centers to provide people with anything they might need. In Sonoma County, Liz Kreutz, ABC 7 News. Coming up here next, we'll take you to Gilroy for a closer look at where fields, homes, even Highway 101 are all flooded. And meet the custodians working around the clock to keep classes from being disrupted by storms.